everybody, should you own gold? I'm here to say I think you should, and here's why. So during every economic downturn, gold outperforms most standardized investments. Let's look here at the dot-com bubble. During the dot-com bubble, the Dow lost 33%, gold gained 33%, exact opposite, right? Great financial crisis, Dow lost 50%, ouch. Gold plus 41% during the pandemic. Uh, and those pr those previous two economic downturns, no Bitcoin. Pandemic, Dow lost 24%. Gold, plus 12%. Uh, very brief downturn here during the pandemic. Um, Bitcoin lost 30%, worst performer of the three. If you look at the lows though, from, from those times, 2020, nothing can touch Bitcoin. It's up 1,300%. Uh, gold's up 32%. Dow's up 49%. Now, if you look over the last 25 years, not including Bitcoin, the Dow's up 94%, almost 4% a year. Gold's up 654%, almost 26 or over 26% a year. So economic downturns, gold outperforms. Regular times, it even outperforms over the last 25 years. Um, should you own physical gold? If you have a hard time saving, yes, you should. Um, it's hard, harder to sell that way. But for most people, own most in electronic, but do own some in physical form because if, you know, the stuff hits the fan, uh, you can't access the other things, right? You need electronic, you need electricity, you need electronic systems. So gold, you can physically hold and you can trade and barter with it. But if, you know, if stuff really hits the fan, we're invaded World War Three kind of thing, you're going to need guns, ammo, uh, medicine, food, water. So there you have it, own some gold.